and we're back with another any chill 17 franchise mode video uh, today we're just gonna be simulating games hopefully I think I don't think I have anything else to do um, let's check out the calendar so we went four two and one in the preseason last video um, and so that's pretty good it's a good start I think and I guess we'll just simulate to the end of this month see if anything happens wait what Okay, there we go. Okay, let's simulate to the Boston game. Uh, amateur scout calling. I think an overview of this. I have an overview of this year's draft class. I think it's going to be a bit weaker than normal. Yep, I think that's how it's going to be like in real life. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's like Nolan Patrick who's pretty good, but he got injured, I believe. And so there's some doubts about him. I don't think it should be too much of a problem, but you know. He's like the top, he's at the top of the list. He got injured and he's still at the top. Uh, it's sort of different compared to like, uh, actually, I don't know. Okay, we got a trade offer, a third round pick for Derek McKenzie. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna decline this trade mainly because McKenzie's actually a good player. He's, he's on our penalty kill and, you know, we need defensive players. Okay, edit scouting assignment. Let me try and think where Lily Green is. I think he's in the OHL. He's another top prospect in this year's draft. Uh, he's a defenseman. Hopefully the Leafs grab him, like in real life, because I think they need another defenseman. And like, because they have, they already have three good forwards in Nylander, Marner, and Matthews. And on defense, they really only have Riley and Gardner. And I don't consider Gardner a top pairing guy. How are you? I like. He's a good second line, second line guy, uh, but if you play him on the top line, it shouldn't be that bad. But like, I think you'd rather have a Lily Green type player with like that potential on your first line. Okay, everyone just wants McKenzie for a third round pick, and we're doing all right, five, four, and one to start. I keep hopping around, but so there's Nolan Patrick, Lily Green, and then there might be another Strom. I think I think that's coming. And then I, I honestly don't know who's after that, but I guess with as the year goes on, we'll get more coverage on these prospects because uh, I'm pretty sure at least the Maple Leafs are going to be in that range. Holy crap, we lost eight nothing to Ottawa. Jesus, I mean we're eleven seven and two. That's okay. Oh my god, we're just losing. At least lose in overtime. There we go. Uh, and Detroit. What will we do? Okay. Alright, let's check out our stats. See how we're doing. How it's working. Okay, we're actually second in our division. Which is surprising because we're 11-9-3. But we do have a pretty weak division. But Tampa Bay, you're all the way down there. Why is that? And they've played more games than us, I think. Okay. Uh, Stat Central. Yager. GG's, Yager. You're leading our team in points. Yager, Huberto, Jokinen, Riley Smith, Barkov. Okay, so these guys almost are point per game, but then Barkov, for whatever reason, is not... Like, he's doing good. For an 88 overall center, he's doing good. Uh, but compared to these guys, I don't know how that's happened. Like from 16 to 22. But whatever, I guess you you win some bounce or you get some bounces and you don't. And then we have Bukestad and Trocek. I understand what's going on here. Uh, Bukestad is on the second line, but then I put Trocek on the power play. So their, their points are sort of divided like that. And then Ekblad's doing well with 10 points. Uh, but we have a lot of minus players. Mackenzie's, Givier, Demirs, McCann, Quincy. Uh, we got to fix that up, boys. And then goalies. Let's check out our goalie stats. Someone had a, a terrible game. Okay, James Reimer. You got, you have to be better than that, man. For okay, not just James Reimer, but like 4.5 goals against average. You got to do better, James. And then Luongo. Come on, man. Gotta close that five hole up. Uh, save percentage is that. 
Let's see how our team stats are doing. Our penalty kill on power play. Let's see how that's doing. Uh, three goal, three goals four per game, which is good. Three goals against per game, which is terrible. Power play percentage is hot. Uh, penalty kill could do better. Let's just check it. Cut. Let's compare it to the rest of the league. Uh, who has the best goals four per game? We are up there. Sort of. Holy crap. How, why are there so many goals? I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, goals against per game. Where are you, Florida? Second last. That's fantastic. Hard play percentage. We're in the middle, well, we're in the top tier, the top eight, top, yeah, top eight. Penalty kill, we're doing atrocious in that. But I'm not going to touch anything just yet, mainly because it's only been a month and a half. Um, let me check, uh, actually, let me check something. I want to check awards to see if they have, like, previous years, like, winners. Not just, like, the last five years or whatever. Uh, if, no. Okay, so they only have previous five years. Player. Okay. And then what happens if I go to Yager's stats? Does it show his full career? Full career stats. Okay, there. Okay, then. Yep, shows all their stats, so that's good. Okay, I guess we could continue simulating. Let's see if anyone has any problems. Oh, let's hold the team meeting. 91 offense, 91 defense, 90 goalie. We should be winning, and we are, I guess. In a way, Yandel. What happens if I choose that? Okay. Trocheck. Okay, so tr okay, so that's good. The second, the second option doesn't always work now. Whole team meeting. Let's try this again. All right. At least we got Rhymer's morale up. Hopefully, he does better because of that. Uh, advance. Good to know. I really did not like that glitch, so now we have options for real this time. And then I guess we'll just continue simulating, because why not? Uh, simulate to... Trade deadline? All right, so where do we want to send our scout next? I think we need goalies. Are there any goalies in the queue? Hopefully. And we're back. Okay, so I just stopped simulating. We're doing pretty well. We've picked up more wins than losses. 21, 14, and three. We're still in second place with 45 points. And then we're tied with Boston. And then a little... Like, and then Ottawa, Tampa Bay, and Montreal are sort of in their own little group trying to fight over that wildcard position. Uh, so we're doing well. I just wanted to check the right stick, what happens when we do that. Team Prestige. Okay. Just checking everything out. Okay, so we have to repair. Concessions. Okay, let's repair that. Repair. Repair.
just repair everything because we want our owner to be happy we want to at least last until we relocate because it's kind of suck if we didn't because we've already gotten our fan happiness down so that's not good can we check out why they're not happy with the team store contributors how okay And then arena bathrooms are all right now. Seatings, we've just fixed that. Team chemistry. Okay, non leader is Sean Thorne, so we might have to trade him because he's not playing. Uh, Salads this season, we have five salads, so that's good. And then available funds. Owner goals, owner happiness is amazing right now. I still don't know how that's happening. I mean, at least our wins, our secondary goals are probably going to be met. Uh, how do I check? Okay, our profit, our, our attendance is really good. That's not what I wanted to check. Let's check. Uh, Panthers, no, owner goals, relocation. Is there anything here? Uh, no. Arena and facilities, that's what I wanted to do. Right? Team rankings and sales. Let's check this out. We have, we're bringing in the most revenue. How is that possible? Oh, in the last seven days. Let's check in the last 30 days. Anaheim, Buffalo, Ottawa, San Jose. How is LA doing bad? Where are we? We're second in the NHL for profit. I don't know how that's happened. But we are second, so that's pretty cool. At least in the last 30 days. Let's check year to date. Where are we on the year to date? We're 20th. Not bad. All time. Obviously, the Montreal Canadiens. Game, total game ticket revenue. My bad. Uh, last 30 days. Let's just do that. Florida Panthers. Nice. Year to date. Let's just check concessions. We could be we could be doing better in concessions for sure. Yeah, 18th in concessions. And then merchandise. Let's check this out real quick. Florida 11th, and then parking fifth so i'm sorry to bore you guys if that bores you uh, i actually kind of find i find this interesting mainly because i am a business major so i understand most of the like it's not it's not that i understand it's just like i don't get bored of it i guess because i'm not trying to call you guys dumb uh you guys could probably understand what everything means uh, okay let's continue so it looks like we're doing pretty well profit wise so that's good so i mean i haven't been doing much i guess i just have to maintain the arena every month so i'll simulate one month and then make sure everything's running perfectly which could be a hassle in the long run of this series so if you guys don't want me to manage the finances or anything like that you could tell me and then i'll make sure the next gm mode i do i won't do that uh okay we're already 16 minutes into this video, probably less because I've cut down some of the, some of the, uh, what's it called, simulating, so I, I'll, I'll just quickly simulate until the end of this month and then I'll end the video there. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the video here, but quickly, we're 28, 18, and 5, not too far away from our owner's goals of, goal of 34 wins. Our fan happiness is slowly going back up. Right now we're at 81, so that's good. 
and then let's just quickly check if there's anything wrong anything that's going terribly wrong uh, team prestige is still poor local popularity has gone up I think so that's good uh, national popularity is still meh and then team store revenue is doing well concession revenue is doing all right I guess uh, yeah so looks like okay we need to work on the club seats maintenance and then arena bathrooms need work arena bathroom happiness and arena level happiness how do I change the arena happiness I'll figure that out for the next next week's video or whenever I next post a video but everything looks to be trending upwards if you guys enjoy this video please leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time peace played you fast and read you in no slow recital you waited for him on the strip but no arrival gave that up for him but only just to let you die